Welcome back into your Alaska. Chill Cook here with your local Thursday sports cast. Fairbanks Ice Dogs will have their first opportunity for a little payback this weekend. The Ice Dogs are in Cloquet, Minnesota to take on the Minnesota Wilderness. The Wilderness won the Robinson Cup last year and swept the Ice Dogs in the Midwest Division Finals. Fairbanks coming off of a sweep. Kenai River Brown Bears, Logan Coombs, Todd Burgess, and Ryan Gorowski are off to a good start. Coombs leads the league with seven points, while Burgess and Gorowski follow with six points. Netminder Andrew Lingren has 48 saves, and he is 2-0 with a two-and-a-half goals allowed average. The power play will need to come alive for the Ice Dogs. They are 0-9 for 9 on power plays to start the year, but they have scored three shorthanded goals. This will be the season opening series for the Wilderness. The Alaska Natick Rifle Team will begin the season where they ended a year ago. This week, the Collegiate Rifle Coaches Association released their first poll. Alaska is second overall. Last season, they were the national runner-up for the seventh time. They lost to the West Virginia Mountaineers by two points in a national final. The Mountaineers earned the top spot in the poll. After Alaska, TCU is ranked third, then, the, then Kentucky and Nebraska rounds out the top five. UAF will take on Ohio State in their season opener at home on Saturday, October 17th. The first meeting with West Virginia is January 12th. Alaska won the NCAA Small Bore Championship last season. The top shooters returning for this year's team is 2014 Small Bore National Champion Tim Cherry, Sagan Maddalena, Lorley Stanfield, Luke Johnson, and Soren Butler. There are just three weeks left in the high school football season. This weekend could very well be the most important. Number five, Allison, the defending small school state champions. They host number two, Nikiski, this Saturday at one o'clock. Both teams are four and one. The winner will be the front runner for the number one seed for the small school state playoff final four. There's also a rematch of last year's state title game. West Valley, they host number five, Colony, this Friday night at 7 p.m. Both teams are one and oh in the Rail Belt Conference. The winner will be the lead dog for the conference title with one conference game left after this week for both teams. Monroe will look to improve to 4-1 on the year as they take their ground and pound game to Houston on Saturday. Then Saturday night at 7 p.m. is the highly anticipated Mayor's Bowl at Lathrop Stadium. The Malamutes take on the North Pole Patriots, number three in the polls. The teams have been going at it since the Jamboree. The Patriots won two straight Mayor's Bowls before Lathrop's 31-13 victory last season. Just four weeks into the high school flag football season, the teams are already trying to battle through injuries. Wednesday night in a wet and rainy Patriot Pride Stadium, North Pole and West Valley went head to head. The Patriots had the edge in the first half as their offense was able to generate yards, but the first half went scoreless. Quarterback Alize Anderson for North Pole suffered a leg injury. She did not play the second half. West Valley took advantage. An interception by Leah Rasmussen set up a 27-yard touchdown run by Olivia Shellikins to end the third quarter. Shellikins played through quad and ankle injuries, but she gets the score here. The Patriots were stalled on multiple possessions in the fourth quarter. And Carmen Harris gets another interception after a tip. Good concentration there. And that will seal it for the pack. West Valley, they bounce back for their first from their first loss in 11 games with a 6 to nothing win over North Pole. Our defense came together really strong and we played really well and we were able to defend really easily. And it was raining outside so the flags were slippery but we were able to deal with that. Forget the last play that you messed up on, just regain yourself and do better for the next one and work as a team. We did more like communicating today and we have one loss against us from 11 games but we're going to try and finish this season with more wins. Here's a quick note on schedule changes in high school tennis. The matches from this past Tuesday, the 15th, have been rescheduled for this Friday. North Pole and Monroe will have their match at the Alaska Club tomorrow at 3 o'clock. West Valley, they're going to host Lathrop at the Dan Ramras Community Tennis Courts next Tuesday at 3 p.m., weather permitting. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for watching. Mike Schultz is up next after the break with the latest on your weather forecast. And as always, we'll catch you next time.